Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of the u 7 net My name is Steel, Jimmy, Jimmy Dem Safa, and you are still watching. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the prediction of UC 112. Sorry that I've been late, but uh, I've been busy, man. I've been busy, and I, I've been ill. You know, stomach flu. God damn. There's some crazy, crazy stuff going on, on the, in, in, in the bathroom. Uh, but, you know, this card, amazing. If you look, you know, at the stars, you know, Anderson Silva, the best pump pump fight on earth because, you know, he have been in the middleweight and the light heavyweight, so, you know, he, he, he have proven himself. Uh, we got Demi Maia, the best BJ fighter in MMA, uh, BD Penn, uh, a, li a living legend, you know, the lightweight kingpin. We got Matthews, a welterweight legend, and we got Henso Gracie, you know, the one of the Gracies in the UFC. Uh, it's like having Santa at your crib at Christmas Eve, okay? Right? So, uh, let's start the show. Okay. Uh, the middleweight belt is Anson Silvas. And the challenger is Damien Maya. And what can bring Damien Maya bring to this table? The ground game. You know, Anson Silva is a black belt. Damien Maya is a second degree black belt. And you know he is, he is you know, you know when Kobe Bryant scored like eighty one points in a game. I'm not sure, but I think it was eighty one points. It's like Kobe would do that in every game, okay? Demi Maia is that good in BDJ. You know he been in guys like Jacare, you know, uh, Ronaldo de Sousa, you know, crazy stuff in BDJ. And you know, and he and uh, he has actually fought you know heavyweights. In uh, BDJ and you know beating them, so you know he's he's amazing. Uh, but the thing is, the wrestling part, can he take Anson Silva down? Okay, because you know you saw what did Dan Hansen did to Anson Silva. You know he he took him down, but you know he he ain't a submission wizard. You know if, if you know because you know if you're a good if you're a good wrestler, you can control the guy and just you know. Pound them a, a little bit and wait for the guy to, you know, to try to escape. And then you slip in a slick submission and then it's all over. Uh, so the thing is, can he force a takedown, you know, pull guard or, you know, sweep him or something? And uh, that's what Demi Maia has to do in this fight. And Silva, you know, he's, he, he's, the, he's the complete package, you know. Good submission defense, good footwork. He can do it all standing, you know, elbows, kicks, knees, spinning back kicks, spinning elbows, crazy stuff, you know. Uh, you know, Anson Silva, he is the top dog in this division. Uh, but, you know, he, ha he, ha he has been taken down, you know, Travis Lutte took him down. So, don't be so sure, you know, because, because Travis Lutte, he, he just turned the ground and pound him. But Demi Maia, man, if he gets you on the floor, he's going to submit you. Uh, so how will this fight end? How will it end? <laughs> First round TKO, Anson Silva. Of course. Uh, but I think I would root for Demi Maia. But I don't know, man. But I would hope it, it, it will end like in the third round or something. But, you know, if Demi Maia takes the belt from Anson Silva, it's going to be like in the light heavyweight division. You know, you're going to lose it in, in the next fight. If you if you match him up against, you know, a top guy, not, you know, you know match him up against a good wrestler. Uh, okay, next bout is for the lightweight belt. And, you know, BJ Penn, he's the man. You know, you know him. You know, uh, Black Will and BJ became BJ champion in three years. The first American to ever do that. Um... You know he got the he he he's, he's one one of the most talented MMA fighters who who have walked walked this planet and uh, the problem have been his cardio. Now we got cardio, so you know he's the complete package and you know he haven't lost. I believe he's got one loss in the in the lightweight division and that was against James Pulver in his fourth fight. 
then he re revenged that loss, and you know, the other losses have been the other champions, you know, uh, Lyoto Mashira in heavyweight, Matthews in welterweight two times, and two to uh, GSP welterweight. Uh, and many many people think that, you know, BD Pan, he, he has to try one more round in the welterweight division because, you know, he's killing everybody in the, in, in the lightweight division. And, you know, BD Pan, you know, he got, he got, he got good, great boxing, great submissions, good over his back, good takedowns. Uh, you know, he saw against, uh, ah, in his last fight, he even got head kicks. Come on, BD Pan. Head kicks, uh, but you know Frankie Edgar got, you know he, you know, his nickname is the answer. Does he got the answer? Maybe because he, he's a smaller, uh, lightweight fighter. Uh, he's faster than BD Pan, better wrestler, uh, good submission defense. You know, uh, he 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 trained with a big dog, we call the Meta. Um, he can p uh, put together some. Some good combinations in a one, two, one, two, three, uh, and he has to stick and move like a roadrunner in this fight. Uh, this can this can actually go to a decision, and uh, if he can steal the like the like you know the second or, or or the third round from BJ, or you know like the third and the, third and the, or, or or the fourth round, you know uh, it can it, it, it can be an upset because you know BD Pan he he's like the Best first round fighter, but can he take the first round? Maybe we we will see upset, but um, mm, I believe that you know it's it, it gonna be standing for, and Frank Edgar has to take this to the ground. He has to do it, uh, and you know he good with feinting, you know, uh, uh, you know shoot. So uh, that's the recipe. Can he do it? Of course he can do it, man. Uh, well, I predicted. Uh, fourth round, rear naked show, BJ Penn. Write it up. Matt Hughes versus Hansa Gracie. Uh, Matt Hughes, you know, he, good wrestling base, a strong guy, with good submission and good submission defense. Uh, and good with co controlling fighters. Uh, and he's facing Hansa Gracie, and he's good off his back. And he's like fifth, five. Six, 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 six degree black belt, and uh, you know he's you know like the toughest guy from the Gracie Gracie clan. Uh, but uh, Matthews, you know, he got age, size, strength, cardio, everything on his side, except of the technical ability. Uh, and I actually believe that Matthews would take this one. I'm sorry. I would root for Hanso Gracie. I would like, mm, Hanso, please. But uh, uh, I hope it will be a decision if Matthews wins because you know he's boring. But uh, it it can be like that hoist fight, you know, ground and pound. But I really, really hope that Hanso, please, please, do a slick submission. I. By the way, uh, me and my brother from another mother, Rob, we're going to Canada. This is 13, Mashiro to Shogun. So, you know, check it out. Check us out on twitter.com slash UC event one. Okay, because we're going to do some things uh, on the way to Canada, in Canada. You know, we're going to do our review from Canada. Maybe... You know, talk, talk, talk with some of some of you guys. So if you're in Canada and see us, come up to us and say hello, and check it out on Twitter. And uh, if you, if you are, you know, hesitating, Shorty says, check it out on, check it out on Twitter. Uh, next bout, Terry Adam versus uh, Rafael dos Anjos. And Terry Adam, uh, you know, he's a uh, think about GSP, but not that good. <laughs> nah, but uh, he's uh, and he's good with chokes, man. Uh, guillotine chokes, star chokes. He's a choke guy. He's a constrictor. Uh, but uh, Rafael Dos Anjos, man, he's a decision guy and he's a tough, tough ass dude. You know his losses have been to like Tyson Griffin and stuff. So uh, and uh, that uppercut, uppercut from 
Jeremy Heeman Stevenson. But but uh, I be, I believe that Dos Santos is gonna take this man uh, a decision. <laughs> Uh, but uh, it, it it's gonna be a pretty entertaining fight, so uh, uh, watch this bout. Uh, Dos Anjos, uh, next bout, Desi. Kenny Grove versus Mark Munoz. Kenny Grove is gonna get another loss. Mark, Mark, Mark Munoz uses wrestling, take him down, box a little bit, and then win for a decision. And it's all over!